Good morning ladies and gents. We are here for another vlog and guess where we are? The Rage and b and Excited. I feel like most of my days off slash weekends end up being in these shops but I'm not mad at that because to be fair a lot of the time it is like buying returning buying returning because I have to buy the stuff to bring back to see if it fits in the space for example there is a couple of returns here so that's a range return and then these are uh, home bargains returns that I've got to do uh, so I just like buying it and then bringing it back and seeing if it fits in the space. If it doesn't, just return it. No problem. So I thought we could have a little look in the range today and b and I've got to get some groceries, but also most importantly in the range, I know I definitely want to get one piece of wall art for my office. And I'm really hoping they've got it in stock. It's like this beautiful wooden carved beautiful Thai mandala style thing. Um, I've seen it online, they have it in stock online, but I've also seen it in store. So I'm just hoping I can just pick it up here in store. So let's head into the range and see what they got. Oh, I also need to get a washing line prop. How exciting. Okay, so for those of you who were asking, somebody asked me what this vase was and this is what it's called. And there's the number. Um, there's not a ton of stuff. This is kind of what I was looking for, but it's the smaller version that I want of this. Um, but honestly, right now, first impressions, not super impressed um, at all. These are really cute. I just wasted money, but I just thought they're quite cute. I also bought this candlestick holder, which I think is amazing value for $6.99. So highly recommend. Oh, these are cute. I really like that. They are adorable. Oh, that is really cute. I do love that. A ton of stuff that's screaming out to me right now. That's a little bit bare. These are always handy to have. And I do need a key holder, but I think I'm gonna save that for HomeSense. Oh, they've got one of my artichokes in. They haven't had that for a while. And then they have these ones, but I definitely prefer my cement ones. I think they're a lot nicer. This is handy for an office. I do like that. But yeah, it just looks a little bit picked over, don't you think, guys? Hmm. Okay, so I've just picked up a couple of these. These are for our stairs. Um, I've been looking for the right sort of ones, and I really like the color of those. And then this is what I'm picking up from my office. Um, I think it's 12 99 I just really like it. I think it's really beautiful. Like I said, they do do this really big one up here as well. I love this world map. This might be something that I eventually get for the dining room if I can convince Andy because I think it's really beautiful. They've also got this circle one here, but I do prefer the square ones. I'm going to pick one of these up. I just absolutely love the range for, like, wall art. I just think they do things really great. Oh. Ah, oh, I need one of these too. I didn't realise they sell them here. That's good. Okay. But yeah, I just really like like their little things. I don't know. They just do really good wall art for the price. If you like the designer prints, they actually do them in the range, which is cool. And they're only ten ninety nine a piece. So I'm in the bathroom section now, and this is what I think we're going to be buying for the spare bathroom, uh, family bathroom. So it's $44.99. I've had a look everywhere else and this is actually one of the cheapest ones. So, and it fits perfectly. So I think we're going to do that. Don't think I need it right now. I've seen it every time I've come in the range, so it should be absolutely fine. But yeah, I've just uh, got this one. I've got those. I'm having a browse. I can't find my washing line prop, which is really annoying because I actually really needed that. And I don't know where else I find it. So. Wish me luck. I just love this bit, looking at all the lights. It's just so beautiful. Okay, so 
So I have been to Poundland and Home Bargains as well, only to realize that the return I came to do, by the way, look at my boot, got a little bit too much stuff as per usual. The return I came to do, I completely forgot the receipt. So that was good. So I didn't actually get to return anything. I've now just popped to my auntie's house over here. Um, everyone I think is in the garden. So I'm just gonna go say hello because we're allowed to do that now. And it's such a beautiful day today. It is so, so sunny. I, unfortunately, I can't stay for long because I've actually got cold food and like chicken and stuff in here. So I can't stay for long, but let's go and say hello to everybody. She means if we go into the gym, I think. I can't go to the gym yet, Nan, can I? <laughs> Wave to the camera. Finton. Talk to Amy. Look, who's that? Lynn. <laughs> it's Finton. Look how beautiful it is today. So beautiful. Finton. Look at me. <laughs> <laughs> and like that, I am home. So that was really nice. I popped to see obviously my nan and granddad and my auntie and my cousins out in the garden. And I've got come home and put away the cold stuff because it desperately needed to go in the fridge. And now I've got this stuff which I need to haul. And Andy's making dinner tonight. For the first time, and we've been in this house over a month. No, I'm not. Yes, we have. I made a dinner before. When? I don't know, some sort of pasta. No, you didn't. I did. You made, you've never made dinner. 100% I did, like, check and night. Honey, you've never made dinner. Mm, pasta and a stirring sauce, I mean. We, I've never had a pasta and a stirring sauce. You have, because it's the night after we moved in. We did not. So I've got all of the stuff I need to haul here. I've got a Poundland, B&M, Poundland and B&M to do. I think that's just the two and the range. Although actually I'm not gonna haul the range, there's nothing to show because I will show you here. This is what I picked up in the range. And this is gonna be part of a DIY project that I plan on doing. So this was only 19.99, but it's a huge mirror. I need to take it upstairs and make sure it fits where I want it to fit. And then I'm going to be making this my Hollywood mirror. I'm gonna DIY it. I'm not gonna pay 300 pounds for one. I'm gonna do it for it will work out to be about 2, 4, 6, 10, 30, 40, 50. It'd be about 45 pounds, 55 pounds. I plan on making a full Hollywood mirror out of. So I'm excited about that, but we actually have to make sure it fits first. If it doesn't fit, it's gonna have to go back. And he's just put a wash on and he has just gone to the shop to get milk because we have run out of milk. But yeah, I picked up that mirror, which is very exciting. And then obviously, as you guys seen, I picked up this here. And while I was out as well, I got a delivery. This is my, what's it called? Like height adjusting desk. So I can work sitting down or work standing up. So I finally have a desk thanks to flexispot.com, which I cannot thank them enough. They have literally sorted me right out. So I'm gonna put this together because I'm back to work tomorrow and it's gonna be going in there. Also, dad put this plant up yesterday. My little Ikea plant for my Ikea haul. Absolutely love it. Um, and we got some shelves come, which I need to also DIY because they've got gold brackets. So I need to DIY them and just spray paint the gold to white. And then my dad can put those up in the utility. But yes, good shopping trip. That's where the thingies going up on the wall. It'll look really nice. Right, then now when Andy comes back, I'm gonna have a cup of tea and I'm gonna chill. But I need a wee right now, so I'm gonna go do that. Okay, so actually, instead of having a tea, I'm gonna have a Dolce Gusto. So this is the Dolce Gusto coffee machine that <laughs> we, our friends gave us as we traded we traded an appliance for an appliance. So they actually had one of these sitting around and we had um, one of the robot Hoovers still around. So we gave them that and in exchange they were like, well, you can have a coffee machine and I'm actually so excited about it. So first thing we have to do is turn on the button. Okay, it's flashing red. So it says it needs to then go green. I picked these up today. Dolce Gusto Nestle Nesquik. So I'm gonna actually have a hot chocolate because these look amazing. And then I also seen, they only had this one option, but we also got 
Costa Signature Blend Cappuccino as well. Uh, and these come with the milk and the coffee. So I'm really excited to try that in the morning, hopefully. I'll probably wait for Andy to come back because I'm sure he'll want to try it with me. But I guess you turn that on just so it does like a little heaty thing. I don't know, I'm excited about this. I've never had a coffee machine before and I've always wanted a pod one because you can get all the fun flavors in the pods. So yeah, oh, got so much to do. I'm gonna put my desk together. I wanna tack the wall and put up hopefully a couple of other, the photo frames as well that I didn't show you that were there. And also I, that mirror fits perfect. It will look amazing. So hello everybody, it is the next section, next section of this vlog. And I mentioned obviously that that mirror fit really nice. So I just wanted to show you what the kind of goal is we're going for. Are you ready? By the way, I'm looking really weird and pale. I don't know what that's about, but I'm trying a new liquid lip and I've not had a liquid lip on for a while. So I'm not too sure if it's doing me any favors. I've just put tan on, I don't know, anyway. Back to the mirror. This is the setup at the moment. <laughs> As you can see, I've not even taken the price tag off. But yes, that is kind of what we were going for. Look how incredible that literally fits in there. Amazing. So hear me out with what I'm doing with this. I am going to paint it white and I don't know if I wanna paint it gloss white or matte white. Let me know in the comments. I'm not too sure which would look better. And then I'm going to put some Hollywood mirror light bulbs down the side it's gonna look awesome it's gonna look amazing literally the mirror is huge and i can't believe it was 20 quid we love the range and then this room like you guys have asked me to show you this room and i will show you now but i promise you it's a little bit of a disappointment at the mo i need your guys's help so this is what I just showed you, obviously. We have my dressing table and then we have the mirror on top. You guys know kind of how big this is if you've watched me for a while from perspective of my last room. So this is honestly the most perfect like fit to it. So I think once we get rid of the wood, it's going to look just absolutely awesome with the Hollywood lights as well to light up this corner. The dressing table originally was from Next, by the way, and so is this little Chesterfield footstool. I don't think they do this anymore, but they do do one very, very similar to it. So just have a look on next.com in the mirrored furniture section. And then what I've done in here is I have put up these lovely um, Ikea net curtains. So I just really liked these because basically we just it's just for a little bit of privacy obviously I never really get changed or anything in here it's just a beauty room it's just where I come to do my makeup and stuff and eventually it will be a filming room once I have a good setup because obviously my stuff's here and I just put my little mirror here from home bargains that I put up there because I didn't know where I wanted it on the wall and then just some little bits and bobs on the side but honestly this room is nowhere near finished but that does make it look so much better and then I don't know if you can just see there but there is also a blind so if we do want to get rid of all the light when I'm filming or if I do want to close it off for privacy for any reason I have got that option as well then as you can see we just have stuff um I've got all my old cherries boxes I've been keeping these because we will be needing boxes for storage and for like sending things soon so I just got my ring light and my camera here which get pulled downstairs anyway or out into the hallway space here when I'm um filming I just don't like it. Obviously, it's not finished. But the thing is, guys, I just don't know what to do with the space. This is perfect. That fits in there lovely. There's a nice bit of wall. It's tucked away. Perfect. No problem with that space. Over here, though, obviously, I don't want to put anything here because I don't really want to block the radiator. Maybe I would have put a radiator cover, but I don't know if you can honestly get them for radiators this small. And I wouldn't really want to get a big one because I don't need a mantelpiece because there's already a windowsill. What I'm thinking for this corner is to get a nice armchair to go in there and then potentially I can make a really nice sort of backdrop by pulling this mirrored furniture next to the armchair and then it allows me to put something on it. What do you guys think? This is a picture of the armchair that I'm thinking of getting for the room. I really, really like it. It's from the range. I think it's around just under £200. But I think it would just look really nice there. You could, if you wanted to, get a nice little sort of sheepskin rug. Um, and then, like I said, you'd pull that over there. But the only thing is with this room is I need some sort of storage. I was going to have those chests of drawers, those white IKEA chests of drawers in here. But I've put them in the spare room for now. 
because I just don't really want them in here. Um, I have seen a set of chests of drawers that I like, but then it's just like adding more furniture, but they might look okay sideways down here. I'm not sure. And then eventually when the white company shop opens back up again, this is actually a white company box, I'm gonna go in and buy like the four different sizes of the box. So then I'm actually gonna have like a stacking of the largest, the medium, the small one, and the really small one. I think that will look really nice because they've got the little black bows so I can tie that up and make that look really nice in a corner or something or maybe there just to block the radiator. I kind of have an idea, but for once I just look into a room and because of kind of how awkwardly shaped it is, like don't get me wrong, it's a decent sized room. This is a full on bedroom. You know, so this would be a single, single bedroom. It's just because I just don't know what to do with it. I'm definitely feeling an armchair facing diagonally this way. So when I film, that could look really nice. If you guys have any suggestions, please let me know because you were absolutely ace with pretty much everything else in the house. When I've said like about the hallway, I said I didn't know what I was going to do with it. Someone was like, get a full length mirror and put it up in the corner. And what did we do? We got a full length mirror and put it up in the corner. <laughs> But yeah, it's just really, really fun having these projects. But for once, I've just got a mind blank, you know? Like the bedroom, I know exactly what I've done in here. It's not rocket science, to be fair. You know that there needs to be two bedside tables and a bed. The ensuite, I've just filmed a reel today for the ensuite. Oh, I need to put that back down on the floor. But this, like I knew exactly that I wanted this big unit. I'm not too sure if I've showed you guys this actually now. Making me question myself. But this is our unit here that we've got for our ensuite and it is honestly the best thing we've ever bought. It's from Amazon so I'll leave the link down below. I think it was around £140 but honestly it was worth every penny. So when you open it up it's metal inside and it's just got loads of different heights and things. We keep our toothbrushes here, I've got my cleanse and polish, I've got my little Pangland thing with some cotton, um, cotton pads and then we've got cotton buds. That's for when that finishes so I can replace it. Got my uh, muslin cloth and some, um, what's it called, flannels, but we've also got flannels over there. Then this is my side, full of my stuff, and then Andy's got his own side as well. So it's just a really, really good storage thing. It's super heavy, it's super good quality. So if you're in the market for one, I believe it is 90 cm long but it literally looks like it's made for this space, doesn't it? And then obviously this is just how I've kind of accessorized the bathroom. Ignore the Coco and Eve. I have just tanned, if you can tell. I'm also super excited because I've actually just put down my favorite bath mat, the White Company one. I don't honestly don't know guys if this is in stock, but this is the best bath mat. I've got two, one for the um, family bathroom as well when we get around to doing that but it is actually amazing I believe it was about 25 pounds but it's just pure hotel and I just think it makes the ensuite look so yeah so five star hotel love another thing to show you guys is I posted this over on Instagram on my home Instagram as well but a lot of you asked me on the post where I put it in the house and we've actually put it in the hallway so this oh, it's so beautiful this is a housewarming present from my auntie and uncle and it's by a lovely lady called Sophie who hands draws these amazing prints. I'm just going to show you. So this is the beautiful house print. There's the size of my hand so it's sort of about 45 by 45. Not 45, sorry, about 25 by 25 I think. Anyway, got the little neutral flags. She usually can, she can do like any colour but I was like I want neutral and then it's got our name there, our completion date and down the other side it's got the address of the house. Um, but can you see how beautiful this is? It's all hand drawn and honestly it is absolutely beautiful. So yeah, in terms of the house it's in the hallway so as you come in the door it's there. This Again, is still to be all done. It's a project and a half that I need to figure out. I want a nice console table here, a nice big mirror, I think, or a piece of art, because we're also thinking of getting a mirror for there. All to do, you know, still work in progress. But yeah, I literally love that print. It, and everybody who has come in so far to see, to like walk through the house with the tradesmen or whatever, they're literally like, oh, that's so cool. I'm like, I know, and it's all hand drawn. It's amazing. So I'm trying to think what other house updates I have to show you guys. I've showed you the sofa that's in the front room. Um, table, sideboard, not too sure. But I think this vlog's just gonna be a little short one. You've obviously seen 
the range shopping and we did a lot of all that other stuff um but yeah i think we're gonna just we're gonna just leave it there oh the coffee machine i never addressed that we didn't get on with it so well so if anybody's got a dolce gusto do you know how to make your coffees not so weak like we the, the hot chocolate and the coffee they were like kind of weak and we don't really know how to make it any better so if anybody's got any tips or tricks if you've got a dolce gusto machine let us know but yeah i think this vlog's just going to be a slightly short one if you guys don't mind because i know we did go to the range and everything and yeah, I've already, like I said, I've already been working on the next vlog and the next one is also super exciting. There's just loads of stuff. This house is consistently changing, evolving, developing, and I absolutely love it. And I know you guys love it too. So thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you're all staying safe and well, and I will see you all in my next video. Don't forget to give this a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of these uploads. And apart from that, guys, I will see you in my next video. Ciao. Reason why I feel like I can fly Think about you day and night I love it when you kiss me, love it when we touch Every time I'm down you, you make me smile You're the solution